Choose your preferred language. Uh, something English. Seventh Expansion. I've heard of them. Manga Gamer. Really? I guess they published it. I have this on Steam though, so. Yeah, actually, When They Cry. Seventh Expansion presents Welcome to Inuizawa When They Cry. I think Higurashi is like. Um. What's it called? Message Speed. Cicadas? So it's, it's something about cicadas, so. Um. Cool screen. That's good. Character sprites. Original and updated? Oh, we're on updated. Let's stick with updated. So. Yeah. Um. It's a visual novel. Hardcore. It's actually a kinetic novel. Oh no. Um. Not jump scary, but. Apparently. Oh, there's no extras. Oh, okay. But, um, it's got some spooky stuff. Alright, let's go. Start. I have to say start because I can't sync it, because. I, mean, I could have sunk it with the mouse, but. Onikakushi. What was the world of Higurashi when they cry? The Onikakushi arc. Right, the game's broken up into, like, different chapters. Will be the opening inviting you to the to this world. Don't play tough. Don't play tough. Please just enjoy life in Hinamizawa to the fullest. Difficulty is extremely high, but I hope you will enjoy the reward. But I thought it was a kinetic novel, so there shouldn't really be any difficulty. <laughs> Even if it wasn't, I don't think there's any actual gameplay. But please do not lament. Forgive you even if the world will not forgive you. Please do not. Oh, okay. Even if you will not forgive the world. So please tell me, what will it take for you to forgive me? Fed Federica Bern Castell. And it looks like German. This is a work of fiction. Everything is fictional. 1938 AD. Summer of the 58th year of the Showa era. I was going to be ripped apart anyways. Having my body ripped apart wouldn't be far, would have been far better. I trusted her. No. I still trust her. Even in this very moment, I trust her. But I'm starting to realize. I only want to trust her because I refuse to accept the truth. It was as if I was trying to convince myself in such a silly, sobbing voice. All those tears, those tears making a mess of my face. That mechanical, repetitious sound finally stilled, and everything fell silent. Only the cry of the cicadas remained annoyingly loud. And yet, I felt as if I could still hear her voice. That's not possible. He is no longer speaking. Only one crying is me. She never cried. And when she repeated those words over and over, she never expressed any emotion, because there were none to show. She added no tears to shed for me. Then I shouldn't need to shed any for her. Then why? This pain, my eyes getting moist. Why was this happening? I still want to believe I hadn't been split apart. That's enough, right? Beside me, an inner voice whispered gently. My spirit had suffered enough. And countless times I've wondered, wavered over whether I should just throw the battered thing away. Except, I've stubbornly refused to do that, haven't I? I'd feel better if I just threw it away. Even knowing that, I chose to believe, didn't I? Only I can understand. That painful struggle, I appreciate it. Why? Hey, me. I think it's supposed to be why. Try it more than enough. I'll acknowledge that much, so. Isn't this right to just take the easy way out? Besides, I'm not throwing it away. I'm leaving it behind with her. Like flowers by a grave. 
Then now, now then, calm your nerves. Even though you can't feel your right arm, just lift it up. But with every swing, forget a little more. That kindness made me happy. That adorable smile brought me joy. I like petting your head. That's how demure you were. Because this was the last time. This will be the last time. Well, it didn't matter. So when I swing this down, I'll forget. This is my first and last banquet for you. Well, fuck. Perhaps I really did love you. This is... Yurashi, when they cry. So the next question presents, welcome to Hinamazawa. Hinamazawa. Somebody has apologized. Damn. Actually, can I... Well, not with the GameCube. I'm not gonna plug any of the controllers in. Playing visual novels with a controller is probably the most relaxing thing. These skyscrapers and the multi-lane roads, the, mel the melodious cacophony, the crosswalk, and the campaign speeches blare in front of the... the The place where I live now isn't nearly as lively. So the chirping of locusts, and the babbling of brooks, the cry of the Higurashi, the evening cicadas. See, Higurashi means cicadas. Because I know. Maybe. Hmm. Susan Um. Bachi. Chi, she? No. Cause I think bocce is B, and the Suzume bocce is like cricket. So I'm trying to like find common ground, and the only common ground is the chi slash she at the end. So I don't know. And it, it is translating as evening cicada, so maybe it's hyper different. But they make me feel lonely. The quietness has begun. Also the sense of serenity. There's nothing where I'm living now. I don't even mean there aren't any burger joints. There aren't even vending machines. Oh, where are you, the boonies? Are we in Okinawa? No music stores, no restaurants. God, okay. This is depressing. No arcades. I think Okinawa has at least one arcade. I think Okinawa is like a US military base prefecture, though, so they. Yeah, they definitely would have at least one arcade. Among other things. It's not that booty. Wait, am I thinking of Hiroshima? I think I'm thinking of Hiroshima. I don't know anything about Japan, man. Even an ice cream parlor would be unlikely. The nearest town... I guess he's describing where, like, his neighborhood is and not the actual town. It's an hour by bike. That's not bad. Ah! There were music stores and arcades and ice cream parlors, but it wasn't like I ever hung out at any other. But what were you saying? Ah. Oh. I've lived in the city for 10 years and never been to an ice cream parlor. I should have gone at least once. You've, you've at least had ice cream, right? There's like at least a grocery store where you are, right? Aw oh, man, we gotta grow all of our food. We gotta we want ice cream, we gotta fucking buy a cow. It's like no Ever need to apologize so much. I don't know, have you ever killed a man? Whoever was refusing to forgive her, no matter how bad the mistake, there's nothing. How oh, could you get an abortion? Damn it! We've killed our own child. 
Be more careful next time. She's still a part of you, even now. I have no idea what she's done, but it can't be fixed. And that's all the more reason to forgive her. Oh. If what's done is, so you're saying what's if what's done is done and can't be fixed, then there's no reason to hold a grudge and just let bygones be bygones. No matter how much she apologizes, nothing will change. I mean, even if she like broke something, like a like a like a a vase or a vase, you know, apologizing on its own won't fix anything. Just gonna have to either buy you a new one and like start super gluing it back together. It's such a heartbroken voice. Why don't we just go ahead and forgive her? I was finally arose from my nap from my father's prodding. Okay, Chi. We're almost there. Wake up. Finally, I was finally aroused by my nap. Oh, wait, no, fuck. It changed imagery, but we kept the uh, dialogue. Damn. We spent hours riding everything from the bullet train to the local routes. It's hard to believe the landscape. Oh, shit, Yamaha. So, so it's a thing some video novels do, especially like small indie ones, where they just take pictures of scenery and then like put filters over it to make it seem uh, different, as evidenced by the fact there was a giant Yamaha poster. Unless Yamaha is like semi-open to just use for stuff like this, in which case, and then again, it's not like Yamaha couldn't have like helped sponsor this visual novel. I mean, they make Folkaloid. I'm sure they're deep into the anime scene. There, where I live now, in Amizawa. Here, I should when they cry. And though we're approaching summer, the morning air still a had a frigid bite. Yeah, I like when that happens. I like spring. Or autumn. I don't know, one of those. Although, in exchange, you could fill your lungs up with crisp, clean air. Flipping open the window, I was greeted with a <coughs> Averted expanse. Jeez, I almost died for no reason. Nothing but trees. Nothing but net. So, I was probably the only one enjoying the view in the air. I filled my lungs with another deep breath. So I started living in Hinamazawa. I learned that even air had its own taste. Sometimes. I mean, I guess if you breathe in enough, you'll, you'll start tasting it. I quickly finished getting ready for school and headed downstairs for breakfast. My mother was the only one there. My father was nowhere to be seen. Probably up working until the morning. I had, rather I had a rather individual job as a painter. It's such a laid-back profession. Getting up when you want, sleep when you want, and then work when you want. I was so jealous of the easygoing lifestyle. Everyone woke for school that I wanted to be a painter when I grew up. Dad was ecstatic about that. It was just because it looked easy. I never, I'd never tell him that, though. Mom laid breakfast on the table. Seaweed, pickled vegetable, raw egg, and grilled salmon. I like the sound of half of that. I've actually had like it was dried, but I don't I don't know if it was fried, but it was seaweed. It was pretty good. And then there was like the spicy tempura seaweed. And that was pretty gross, but I still ate it because I was hungry. My mom was such a good cook, it was scary. Perfect and macular ideal breakfast. And like my dad who didn't even know the meaning of the word schedule, my mom never squandered any time for effort. She hummed a little tune as she brought over the miso soup. It seemed like she was in a good mood today. So happy you've been waking up early since we moved here, Keiichi. If I didn't wake up early, I won't have time to eat breakfast. 
I thought it was being cute, responding with a wisecrack after being praised for being good. Poor boy, right? Well, happy enough. Pile it on, my dude. First, I saved the steamy hot rice with seaweed. After that, I covered it with egg. Between bites of rice, I enjoyed the crunch of the pickle. Wait, let me. What was that? Pickled vegetables, that's right. See, I don't even like pickles, but then again, it's usually. It's usually brined in, um. Like, super salt and vinegar and shit. Or is that how pickles are made? Is it. Does it have to be vinegar? So I know there's like other pickled vegetables, but like, how do you make them? I don't know, man. I usually try to stay away from pickles unless they're in burgers. Watching me clean my plate, Mom gave me a warm smile. I'm so happy you haven't skipped breakfast ever since we moved here. I was not a morning person when we lived in the city. I slept right until the last minute before school and rarely ate breakfast. Boy, caught in the breakfast Mom made me each morning, that was probably the only way I could protest being forced to attend cram school. I guess that's what you'd call my rebellious face. I want so much as look at the breakfast she woke up early every day to make. If I could go back in time, I'd slap myself. Mindful of the time, Mom rushed me along with a white grin. Isn't it about time you meet up with Rena Chan? Hurry, hurry! Haiku, haiku! Mom really seemed to enjoy the fact that her son was going to school with a girl, as moms tend to do. Rena is one of my classmates. She really loves looking after people, coming to meet me every day. Uh, Raphael. I clicked too fast. The way I looked at it, the way I looked at it, a guy my age walking to school with a girl was just lame. But, well, you were a classmate waiting for me every day wouldn't be very considerate. Seriously though, how long does Rena wait there for me every morning? She gets up earlier than your mom. It's like, alright, we're here, it's cold, I gotta wait for the mom to cook breakfast, then I gotta wait for the son to get up and eat the breakfast, and then we go to school. Taking one last gulp of miso soup, I race to the door. Please thank Raina Chan for the pickles. I don't think of it, those pickles won't store about weather. Right on that, I would have stayed with them a bit more. Morning. Do we get to see people? Yeah! I was expecting, like, not brown hair. Can I hide the... Oh, I can't. Ooh. Wait, can we... Here. Okay. Auto menu. Hi, text box. I mean, I went through all the trouble to do that, and I don't even care anymore. Make sure for greeting was a fresh, as fresh as the morning itself. You're always so early. You should try sleep again sometimes. I sleep in. I'll keep you waiting. She's so conscientious and a good person. If that ever happens, I'll just leave you behind. Hey, Chinko. You're so cold. You're so cold. I'll wait for you all the time. I'll leave you in the dust without looking back. Why are you so mean? Basket there. That's the wrong word. I don't. I don't know the word for why. I don't nani, but that's it. I can never remember. Playing with her was rather fun because of how quickly her mood changed. Kidding, I'd wait for you. I'd wait forever until you came, Rina. No matter how long. I'll wait forever until you come, Rina. No need. <laughs> oh, my chest hurts. Have you ever read a romantic novel, Marina? Eh? Nah, nah, mm -hmm. Never read any before. When that response, I gathered she was interested in them, but was too embarrassed to actually buy them. 
can't imagine what would happen if she did read one. She'd probably turn red and pass out. She says thanks for the pickles. It's nothing, you're welcome. They weren't that salty. Actually, they were pretty light flavored to them. It would have been fine in they just been honest and say they're good, but apparently I can't be that f uh, forthright. I can't be too dead, eh? I need to be Simpson. Oh god, we're 20 minutes in. Okay. This is one of those visual novels where I can... Yeah, hold control. To, um... Skip everything. Let me... Turn all that up. Let's keep going until we get to like scary fun. Yeah, green hair girl. She's got big old boobies. We're just gonna skip until. Oh, little boy. Wait, where the fuck are we? Do stumble into an elementary school. And also, are we all in different classes or in the same class? Because everyone's wearing a different uniform. Do they just not care? These two obviously were like kids, so... A few tips. We're- Oh, they're a mixed grade and there's no- Okay. Your new tips. Continue. So I can go back to any scene that had a hint to something, I guess. Oh yeah, day off! Everyone's in their casual outfits. She's wearing some weird church dress for some reason. And you got like pants and a shirt. It's very fitting. Both the shirt and your style. It's very fitting. When we get to the oh, I was gonna ask when we get to the spooky dick stuff, but you're uh, you're pretty rounded up there too for like a fucking tyke, hey? Okay? Oh yeah, we're at a church. We're at like a shrine. So I called the shrine a church, and that just made me think. Christ, what the hell? That made me think of like... What, what's church like in Japan? Why are we in a junkyard? Oh, fuck! Buff dude with camera! I hate to sneeze. View all tips. What tips do we have to keep us alive? The May Bottom Manor. The damn sight. Murder. Oh! And dismemberment? So does this replay the scene? Or is it like... Oh, from the June XX 1978 or 9 edition. The Shishibona City, Okinomiya Police Station. June XX. Late at night. Suspect XXX X XXX 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 XX XXX were arrested on suspicion of murder and improper disposal of corp. What do you mean improper? What would be the proper disposal? I guess taking it to a church and having it buried. The main offender XXXX has been added to the wanted list nationwide. According to our source, the six suspects were at the Hinamizawa Dam construction site, work room on the XX of 9pm, where they were suspected to have assaulted and murdered the site overseer XXXX as the group dismembered his body and hid it, hid it, hiding it. On the XX of 8 o'clock in the morning, a report was filed by the Shisabone City Hospital, in which a male suspect alluded to having murdered Mr. XXXX. 
Miranda questioned at the police station. The individual confessed the crime. He says the portion of his body was recovered at the location he gave. He was arrested the after damn. The rest of the suspects were arrested the same day, but the main culprit is still at large. Police are currently on his trail. The motive, is, the motive is purported to be a drunken verbal dispute during which he killed the victim in a fit of anger. He was so drunk, he continued to dismember him and hide his body in the suicide forest at the base of Mount Fuji. Okay. Ah, uh, shit. I was expecting it to be like, um, the newspaper, but I was wrong. Okay. That was kind of spooky. We learned about murders, but what else do we got? Fuck your else. What were we talking about? My fucking colon. I don't need to butter up my pooper. You guys need to stop. Leave my pooper alone. Wait, hold on, hold on. Can I, mid game, change the character sprites? Oh, fuck, I can. It's fucking weird. Uh, corpse party, eat your heart out. Oh wow, that one's ooh boy. Oh, look at you. I want to see the casual clothes now. Oh, uh, uh, I don't like it. I mean, can you play any of the corpse parties that's not PSP. I don't know if the DS one has the PSP ones. I didn't like it, but they weren't as bad as this. I don't even think Cook's part in PC on the was this bad. Oh, this is this is rough. And the artist tried his hardest. I'm so sorry. But it's not great. Wait, hold on. Is this supposed to be... Oh. Wow. Alright. We'll have to figure out... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The music got spooky. What do we got here? I am fast and impact. And package the open and rings. Right here, another next one. So I just searched since I didn't know what when it happened. I didn't know who the perpetrator or the victim was either. I only knew what happened here. I looked up ever so often, checking to see if Rena had come back or not. I wouldn't want her to see me gawking at a dirty magazine, but it wasn't just that. I said they didn't know. But it had happened, without a doubt. As long as Tomitake's son wasn't lying, then if both Mina, Rina and Miyu incident that neither Rina nor Mion wished to talk about, trying to cover it after they tried to conceal it out of good intention, that made me feel like I was acting against my friends. Damn worker lynching murder by dismemberment. Here it is. The featured article. So the f so the f murder article is in the is deep within some sort of porno mag. Is that what I'm getting at? And open the photograph page. Police investigators were carrying a body bag, and newspaper reporters were all bathing in it in camera flashes. An image was blurry and hard to understand, but I could definitely make out the headlines. Tragic nightmare at the Hinamizawa construction site. Lynching and murder dismemberment. The victim was the site foreman. He has, he had assaulted his assailant daily with the explosive backlash from his daily actions. The horrible image to see the site foreman ass. It happened. It really did happen. 
seen the details were on the next page. Turn the page without pause. When it was. The assailant butchered the victim's body with a hatchet pick and pickaxe. And with an axe, split the cadaver into six pieces. The head, arms, legs, and torso. I could understand just from the headlines that it was just too horrible an incident. Normally a lynching is just assault or murder, right? Does memory rent with hatchets and pickaxes? That wasn't a lynching. It was a merciless killing to the letter. A brutal murder. Done by a group of people. Hatchetes. Pickaxes. With an axe. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Okay. So at least the original artist did have plans for like uh dual sprites. Did I startle you? Did I startle you? Then it dropped the axe she was holding onto the ground. Why were you looking for an axe? Yeah, you said it would happen if you had an axe. So then I brought an axe for you from the shed. I guess my action was a bit overboard. Night was drawing close. Doesn't look like we can break that last beam without an axe. You brought it after all. I have to borrow it tomorrow, alright? Wait, what? Why do you look so glum? Tomorrow we'll be digging out Colonel Sanders, right? Mmm. Mmm. Digging out Colonel Sanders, right? I really want to take Colonel Sanders home. We both knew that it was... I crunched my thirst with the barley tear and I brought... Wiped off the sweat and had now gone cold. Felt quite guilty that the tabloid wrapped up in my jacket. You hit it? You gonna take it with you? Oh my god. So, so far I'm getting that these kids are like... Looking into local murder reports on their own. You have received new tips. The Hina Mizawa Dam Project Special Tabloid Report. One man's trash. It's another man's. Yeah, but it was just in a little a porno mag. I wonder if it's the thing I just read. Oh, no. Nightmare Befall the Dam. Lynching Murder. Bone chilling, gruesome murder dismemberment. Even though the case was shocked, the archipelago, the archipelago, the police will give no detail on the case. Exactly what happened at the Hinamazawa Dam. They probably didn't mean to kill him at first, but as the victim resisted by swinging around a shovel, the rest of the perpetrators armed themselves in return, and it quickly escalated to homicide. So said the aforementioned investigator A. After this bloody tragedy was over, they were left with a body which no one thought was alive. XX Sun had tormented the suspects daily with his rough behavior. At first it was meant to be payback. All the perpetrators were horrified by their deed, and one even turned himself into the police. It was the de facto leader of this group, XX, who suggested hiding the body. Reluctantly at first they soon began to think they did not wish to be caught. The construction site had numerous places to hide the body with six people. They were originally supposed to hide the body and leave the area, but the de facto leader feels that the, cons that the consciences of the other five wouldn't be able to bear the burden. He came up with the horrible method of keeping them from turning him into the police. He devised the heinous method of splitting up the body among them and making each of them responsible for hiding a piece. XX had turned a simple manslaughter into a gruesome dismemberment and forcibly involved each perpetrator in order to create a sense of unity between them. Like the fucking Suicide Circle movie. We're all in this together. You can't get out of this. Everyone hold hands. The train's coming in like five seconds. If you back out now, you're a coward. Then they all jump on the train. All um, jump into the train. Jump in front of the train. Yeah, there we go. And then it turns out it was just like uh, subliminal messages by like the newest, hottest band in Japan. Who hung out at like a deserted bowling alley or some shit. In for a penny, in for a pound. I don't think that works in Japan. They don't have pounds, man. Come on. In for yen, in for 
uh, in for a yin, in for a year. If that works, I'm, I'm cool with that one. The XX's plan collapsed in the span of one night. XXX, who had refused to dissect the corpse up until the last moment, had broken down in tears at the hospital where he was being treated for an injury sustained during the scuffle and confessed. Criminals were arrested one after another, but the de facto leader XX's whereabouts are still unknown. Also, the right arm hidden by XX has yet to be found. Of course, he knows what the fuck he's doing. He's not a coward. He's gonna go s snitch on everyone. Despite an ongoing search, this horrible individual has so far managed to elude law enforcement. It appears that XS has said he was going to throw the body in the marsh. XS's car was discovered abandoned near the marsh, but there are no clues to his whereabouts. XS didn't trust his companions. Well, fucking good. One of them got scared and ran off to the authorities. Of course, I doubt the theory since he has no car. One would expect him to have limited areas to which he could have escaped to. But within the station, there are rumors going around that he had accidentally slipped and drowned in the marsh. Did they check the marsh? To the locals, that marsh is believed to be bottomless. Uh, it's known as Onigafuchi, the Ogre's Abyss. Is that the name of one of the... Hold on, hold on. Uh... Uh, I'm doing, ex I'm doing way too much for no reason. Uh, Hiroshi, Oni Kakushi. Oh, chapter one is Oni Kakushi. What, what's the other chapters called? Chapter 2, what I got? Uh, I can look at the 7th expansion, there we go. Answers arc, interesting. Here I see every single chapter. Oh, and I get a discount. I save two dollars. Um. Yeah, so that's the that's the name of this first chapter, and it's pretty well. It's not the name; it's close to the name. But suddenly got less scary. Oh my god! Okay. So we hear scary music. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! Oh, God! I saw a new, I saw a new sprite. It was like school swimsuit. Oh, she has cat ears. Okay, we gotta, we gotta check this out. No! Everyone's got it. What are you doing? Stop stop doing the the thriller dance. Go back to this. Someone has to see all of that. Yeah, psycho. You're super skinny. Got like no waist. Everyone's back into the regular clothes. Oh! Oh! Did it. We actively done it. <laughs> look at you, man! You look like an old man, man. Oh no, I can't configure anymore. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we don't go. Uh oh. Uh. I think I broke it. Uh -huh. 
Turn to main menu. Uh, save. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Because I didn't save. Oh, wait. Wait, but then... Okay, no, those don't work. Okay, uh... I broke the game, and now we're stuck with bad art. Oh, no. Unless we keep going until... Until part ends. There we go. It's still back there. I still fucking see it. Oh, okay. I guess we'll just stop. Because I can't do anything about this.